What's up, happy people, and welcome back to Tipply Catch and Release. So today is Sunday, and that means it is the verse of the week. Now today is a special Sunday, it's a special video, and you might be asking why, and that's because this weekend from Wednesday through Sunday, my baseball team has been in an out-of-town tournament. Now, yeah, we go in tournaments a lot, but this one's special because, like I said, it's out of town. So right now, hopefully, as y'all are watching me speak this message, now, of course, this isn't being filmed on Sunday. I'm filming this earlier in the week so that I can schedule it and upload it to get it on on Sunday. So hopefully right now that as y'all are watching this, I'm getting ready to go out and lead my team to the chip. I mean, two weeks ago, Corbin's team was in the same tournament, and they got there. They just came a little bit short going 6-1 and one in the tournament. But they played great. Now it's my turn, y'all. It's my turn. I'm going to go out in Indiana. I'm going to have some sweet hits. I'm going to go play Lockdown D. I'm going to have good energy and effort. I'm going to be the teammate that everybody wants to be. That's my plan. I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm actually hoping for that. But hoping can't be all that I do. Right? You have to want it. You have to hope for it. But that can't be all that I do. That's why as soon as I get up in the morning after getting into God's Word, I go and I get in like, I don't know, 100, 150 swings a day. And that's just right before I wake up, before I even eat breakfast. Because I know that I have to do that, right? I know that all the talk won't get me there. Those are the only two things, two things that matter in my life is God and ball. That's it. But that's my life. You know, after getting in 1,500 swings a week, I, I have a confidence going out in those high-pressure situations that I'm sure I'll get myself into this weekend. I'm going to have a confidence that can only come through hard work and dedication to the Lord. But, but hang on. I'm saying all this for a reason. Now, let me just finish going on. But I'm saying this for a reason, so just hang in there. What I'm trying to get at and I'm sorry if you're not a sports person, but after doing all that work, after getting in all those swings and all the other stuff I do throughout a week, I have a faith, a confidence, a hope that I can go out there and I can be successful. And that is a great mindset for sports, although it's a bad mindset for the kingdom of heaven. Now, I want you to understand, because what I just described to you, how I go about sports life can't be how about can't be how you go about your faith life I want to read to you Hebrews 11 1 I'm sure if you're a Christian you've heard this but if you're not don't worry I'm gonna read it for you so Hebrews 11 1 says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen now there's one word in there that every single person watching just missed but first word now now faith. Now faith. Can everybody say that? Can everybody say now faith? God, give me a now faith. Give me a faith for the future. Not a faith that'll just last. Not a faith that's for tomorrow, but a now faith. I want a now faith, God. God, give me a now faith. A faith that'll give you all the glory. A faith that'll give you all the honor. A faith that'll give you all the praise. Give me a now faith. Give me a now faith. Come on, somebody. I want to now faith. I feel like preaching to you a little English today. A little English today. And that's why I'm looking at, down at my notes, because I ain't that smart, right? But I clicked on the word now. And it tells me that the word now is an adverb. So what is an adverb, I might ask? An adverb modifies and or qualifies an adjective. See, I had to look all this stuff up, y'all. But doesn't it kind of sound like God? Listen, listen. It sounds like my God. See, I'm going to read you the meaning of a noun. It says that a word or a phrase that modifies or qualifies an adjective, verb, or other adverb or word group. Expressing a revelation of place, time, and circumstance, manner, cause, degree, etc. Okay, that's cool. Now, I went through earlier today, and I flipped around a couple words. So I want you just to listen to this. Jesus 
is the person or being that modifies or qualifies a person, male or female, to be set free from sin. Through one moment, there can be an eternal salvation because of the blood of the Lamb. Come on, somebody. Do you need me to make it any simpler for you today? You probably do. Okay. Jesus qualifies you to be a winner. He qualifies all of us to be winners at life through His Word. His Word is the true Word, the, the only Word that we should live our life upon. That is how we should base our life upon. And by doing that, we are qualified to be winners. Listen to me, people of God. We can be successful. Just because we believe in God doesn't mean we don't have to be successful at life. We can be called, commissioned, and successful. We can, we can live holy and... Okay, just let me stop. Make me stop. Make me stop. As I was thinking about what I wanted to do today, I first thought about baseball because we're going to be playing baseball, and then I got to thinking about life because everybody wants to win at life. So I thought about maybe having a message about winning in life, but then I decided to talk to God about it. And he's like, yeah, Zayden, you're on the right track, but how about you tell them that in order to be a winner, you may win games without me. Yeah, that's possible. That's, that's the flesh. But in order to be a true winner at life, you know what you have to do? I said, God, tell me. And he said, they got to have a now faith that they want to be a true winner. A now faith. The faith that God's calling us to have, because we all want to win at life. And sometimes life is going to come back and kick you in the butt. Sometimes you're going to be running in circles around life. And that's just how life is because we live in a sinful and a fallen world. Sometimes it feels like you're just running on a, treadm on a treadmill because I'm moving but I'm going nowhere. And that might be how your life looks like. You're putting in the work. You're trying. Can we at least celebrate that you're trying? Can we at least celebrate that you showed up? Can we at least celebrate that you're here watching this video today? Okay. You might have done some stuff yesterday that you regretted, but at least you're here. At least you're trying to get better. At least you're trying to get closer to God. I celebrate you for that. Because at least you tried. At least you showed up. But you feel like you've gotten nowhere today. But I want to tell you that you're in the right place, if nothing else. I want to show you today how God feels about you because he doesn't see you as you are right now. He doesn't see you as a loser. He doesn't see you as a failure, but he sees you successful. He sees you winning because he knows that he is su successful. He knows that he has won. He has conquered death, hell, and the grave. And because of that, he gives you the victory. He gives you the win. You get the W. Although it won't be easy, although some days you might try and be waking up early and you might have felt great about it the night before. You might have felt like, oh yeah, I'm going to get up early and I'm going to go and I'm going to go do this workout or I'm going to go whatever. And then you wake up and, and life just kicks your butt and that might be how it is sometimes. But, but do you remember Paul and Silas? I preached about this one week ago. It's only one week. No, not a lot of you watched it. It had like 30 something views. Hey, I'll still, I'll still get out God's word for you. But... Paul and Silas were at midnight. It was the darkest time in the deepest spot at the jail. And they were praising God. I don't know why. That's what I said. I don't know what makes a man do it. But because of that, the prison walls fell off. Well, not really the walls, but it rattled up. Just watch the verse. Watch the verse. But what I'm trying to get at is you have to wake up each and every day with the mindset that today is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. God has a plan and a purpose for today, one that no eye has seen and that no ear has heard. It ain't going to be easy. It, it won't be easy. Our life is not supposed to be easy. You know, as, as we're kind of on the theme of sports today, I heard this quote by Usain Bolt. And what he said is that I trained four years to run nine seconds. And I said, that's a long time for a little bit of time. But could you imagine if that's what God made us to do? If we had to earn our eternity? Like this, this guy, this runner, famous runner, said that to run nine seconds, he had to train four years. So for eternity, could you imagine how long we would have to go being perfect? How long we would have to go without getting angry and, and cussing at people? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? We couldn't. 
That's why John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that so whoever, me and you, whoever would believe in Him shall not die but have everlasting life. All we have to do is believe. It's now. 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 Everybody say now faith. It's a now faith. Now means at the moment. See, God is a now God. He's a God that when I need Him, He'll be there at that moment. Y'all, He's a now God. So I want to ask you a question today. This is probably a way shorter video than I typically do. But do you want a now faith? Right now, you don't have to wait for tomorrow. You don't have to wait for a famous preacher, somebody double or triple my age. But right now, you can have a now faith because God will meet you right now in this moment. That's what now faith means. We have to go out and live a now faith where Jesus comes and he qualifies us to go to heaven. That's the faith I want to live. And that's the faith you should strive to live. So right now, if you want that, just repeat after me. God, I'm a sinner who needs a savior. Right now, I'm praying to have an out faith. A faith that is required of you to come into me. I believe that you died on the cross and rose three days later. And now, I'm a Christian. Amen. Y'all, that's what an out faith is. Now, in that one moment, your whole eternity is secured. I encourage you, get into the Word. Read God's Word. Read, read the verses I showed you today. And let God touch and change your life. I know that this was a short message. I pray that you go out and have a great week. Five star, let's go out. Get some big dubs today. Go get that ring. And y'all, let your life bring praise and glory and to you. I thank you for watching Tip Lady Catch and Release. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.